and welcome. Today's project is going to be a quick release buckle collar. I am using a metal black matted 3 fourths of an inch quick release buckle as well as a 3 fourths of an inch nickel plated o-ring. For the cords that I'll be using today, the double cow's hitch is hooked up to 550 in black and if you are not familiar with how to do a double cow's hitch I will leave a link below. I show you guys how to hook it up to quick release buckles as well as if you were going to make an adjustable dog collar I show you how to do that as well and if you're not familiar with how to put it on your jig I go over that as well. So again my uh, peri cord for my double cow's hitch is 550 black I'm also going to be using another cord of 550 black and then I have a 550 in noise which is a multi color cord I get it from Pericord EU they have a few of them it's very soft on your hands so I think this cord would actually make a very good leash and I'm also using 275, whoops, 275 in noise as well. First cord that I'm going to add is going to be the 550 in noise. And what I want to do here is I want to loosen up my cow hitches just a little bit. And I want to just go right through that cow hitch, pull it to the other side, and bring the middle to the top of my work. The next cord I'm going to add is the 550 black cord and what I'm going to do here is I want to go in between this first cow's hitch underneath this first stitch underneath the second stitch going towards the left and come up through that second cow's hitch so you're going underneath those two middle stitches bring this to the other side and bring the middle to the top of your work. The next cord that I'm going to add is the 275 in the noise and I'm going to do what I exact I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the 550 black that I just put through. I'm just going to go in between that first cow's hitch underneath the first stitch going towards the left underneath that second stitch, come up through the second cow hitch, so again I'm only underneath those two middle stitches, bring this to the other side and bring the middle to the top of your work. Alright, once you have all of your cords in the middle at the top of your work, you can roll up your black cord that was hooked up to your double cow hitch, as well as the 550 noise cord. You're going to leave the other black 550 cord and the 275 in noise loose because we're going to be putting them through the o-ring. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to put your o-ring to the top of your work. If you work on an inclining desk like I do, it helps to have like a little clothes pin or something just to hold it up there because it will slide down. So to start, what we're going to do is we're going to take the two black cords that were hooked up to the double cow's hitch. I have them rolled up and we're going to take the one on the right and what we want to do is we want to go underneath this first cord right here on our right, right up the middle and then over the second cord on our left. So go underneath, right up the middle and then over. Take your black 550 on the left side now that is coming out of your double cow's hitch and you're going to take go underneath the cord that you just worked. You're going to go underneath the first cord now that is on your left, right up the center and then over this cord now that is on your right. So you're just doing the mirror image. Underneath, right up the middle and then over. And then you have like a little triangle here. Next you're going to take your noise in 550 and you're going to take the one on the right and what you want to do here is you're going to go underneath all of your work and then come right up the middle and then you made this loop with the black you're going to go down that loop 
So you're going to go underneath, right up the middle. And then you have your loop on the right, go down that loop. Take the one on the left now. You're going to go underneath again, right up the middle. And then you have your loop that you made with the black on the left side. You're going to go down that loop. So you're going to go underneath, right up the middle. And then you have your loop, down that loop. Okay. Now, if you if you have something holding your O-ring, you can take that off. What we're going to do here now is we're going to find the 550 black that we haven't worked yet. And we're going to push it through the O-ring. Just go down that O-ring with it. And this is a super long collar, so it's going to take forever. There we go. Once you have your cord through the O-ring, what we're going to do now is we're going to find the two horizontal pieces that are in the middle that are the black cord right in the middle and what you want to do here is you want to go you're going to take your other black cord you're going to go around those two horizontal pieces around the o-ring the bottom part and you're going to come right up the middle but you want to be on the right side of your working cord. So take your black cord, you're going to go over and around those two horizontal pieces around the bottom part of that O-ring, come up the middle, but then just make sure that you're on the right side of your working cord, and then pull that through. Next you're going to take your o-ring, sorry, next you're going to take your other black cord on the left and again you're going to go through the o-ring now you're going to again go around those two horizontal black pieces go underneath the o-ring you're going to come up the middle again, but you want to be on the left side now of your working cord. So we'll run those two horizontal pieces and the bottom part of the O-ring. Come up the middle, but then just put it on the left side of your working cord and then pull that through. Okay, and now for the 275 cord, you're going to do the same thing that you just did with the black cord. Take the one on the right, go through that O-ring, you want to go underneath, sorry, you want to go over those two horizontal pieces that are in the middle and it gets a little congested here, but once we're done with the O-ring, it gets a lot easier to see what you're doing. Make sure you're in between the two black cords when you got it through the O-ring, and then you want to go around those two horizontal black pieces. You want to go around the bottom part of the O-ring, come up in the middle, but then it's the right cord, so you want to be on the right side of your working cord and then pull that through you have your left cord now you want to put it through the o-ring you want to go Once you have it through the O-ring, again, make sure that you're in the middle. You want to go around those two horizontal pieces and the bottom part of the O-ring. You want to come up the middle, but you want to be on the left side 
of your working cord. So just go to the left and then pull it through and then tighten it up. Once you have that tightened up, what you can do next is we can take our um, cords that we just worked through the O-ring and we can push those down. That will help flatten out your work a little bit more when you're tightening it up. Once you have them through and it's nice and tight, if you want, you can roll up the ends that you have loose and then we can just get started on the next weave. Because I'm working with two of the same cord, I decided to use, I ha have different colored rubber bands. I have my cord that is coming out of my double cow's hitch rolled up with these um, beige rubber bands and then I have the other one rolled up with these blue rubber bands. But if you don't have different colored rubber bands, and I do this very often, is I'll roll up one cord a little bit larger than the other and that helps me di differentiate I don't even know if I said that word right sorry but that helps me figure out which one I'm supposed to be grabbing at which time it's just makes it a little bit easier now that I got all that out of the way we can just get started again so I'm going to be starting off with my black that's coming out of the double cow hitch that I have rolled up with a beige rubber band and I'm taking the one on the right and I'm going to go underneath my first cord right up the middle and then over that second cord. Take your other cord on the left now I'm going to be grabbing the beige rubber band one um, you want to go underneath the cord that you just worked underneath the first cord right up the middle over that second cord Next, I'm going to take my Noise 550 cord. I'm going to go underneath all of my work, right up the middle, and then down that loop that I just made on my right side. Take the one on the left, go underneath, right up the middle, and then I have my loop that I made with the black on my left. Go down that loop. Now I'm going to take my two black 550 cords that are going horizontal and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my b blue rubber band of my black and I'm going to go over those two horizontal pieces around and then out the right. Take the one on the left you're going to go over and around it and then out to left and you're going to now do the same with the 275 cord you're going to take the one on the right go over and around and out the right side take the one on the left now and go over and around and out the left and then tighten it up once you have that tightened up we can just start again so I'm going to take my beige rubber band of black and I'm going to go on my right side. I'm going to go underneath, right up the middle, and then over. Take the one on the left, go underneath the cord that you just worked. Underneath, right up the middle, over. Now I'm going to take my 550 noise and I'm going to go underneath all of my work, right up the middle and then down that loop on my right, take the one on my left, go underneath, right up the middle, and then down that loop on my left. Now I'm going to take those two horizontal pieces and pick up on them a little bit. I'm going to take my blue rubber band black and I'm going to go over I'm going to take my blue rubber band black on my right side and I'm going to go over and around and out the right. Take the one on the left, go over and around and out the left. Now do the same with the 275 noise cord. Take the one on the right, go over and around and out the right. Take the one on the left, go over and around 
out the left and then tighten it up. All right, I want a few more down so you can see a larger portion done. And this is what is coming out. This is how it's turning out so far. And I'm going to just continue this weave all the way down the collar until I get to the end. I'll show you guys how I do my tie off and what it looks like when it's completely done. Okay, so I'm at the end of my collar and I took it off the jig and now we can weave in the top cords that are coming directly out of the top part of the collar. So for me, that is my black and my 275 noise cord. The other cords we're going to cut and melt where they are. Okay, so you have a, a gap in between your work and your double cows hitches. You have this gap right in between. You are going to put both of your black 270, sorry, you're going to put both of your black 550 cord through that gap. For the 275 cord, you have a, a, a small hole in between the two cow's hitches. You're going to go right in between those two cow's hitches with both 275 cords. My needle's a little bit big for this cord. I don't know where my smaller needle is. So you're just going to push that through. And I'll do the same for the other one. And I think I can do it without the needle. Yep, there we go. Okay, and now we can cut and melt everything. So I like to start off on my sides and I am going to go about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch up from the collar. I'm going to fray them out. And then I'm going to melt them and then I'll squish them down with my knife. I'm going to start with the one on the top. Try not to let it catch on fire. It does happen. And squish it down. I'll do the next cord. I'll do the same for the opposite side. Okay, and now for the cords that are directly in the middle. I do want to say that you want to be careful with the noise cord because it seems to be catching on fire um, for me, so just be aware when you're trying to melt that. So I'm going to start off with my two black cords. I'm going to start with the one on my left. Cut it a little bit longer than what I just did. Fray it out. And then I can hold these other cords out of my way. Melt it. Squish it down. Next I'll do my other black cord and then after that I'll do the cord, uh, the 275 cord, the one on the left and then I'll do the one on the right. I'm going to cut them a little bit longer because they're catching on fire um, and I just want to make sure that I have enough to melt and squish down. So just be, again, be aware of that. Alright, once you're done melting the ends and squishing them down, you can use your collar as is if you would like to. It should be perfectly fine, but I do like to put a little bit of Gorilla Glue on the ends that I melted. I use clear, non-foaming Gorilla Glue. It's waterproof, and I'm just going to put some on just a little bit on the ends that I just melted. A little bit goes a long way, and again, it's waterproof, 
So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to rub it around with my fingers. Just on those ends that I melted. I'll let this dry and when it's finished I'll show you guys what it looks like when it is completely done. <laughs> 